It's it, definitely inside. The initial contact may be made outside, but Mayo supporters would have preferred a penalty on that occasion. Well, they've travelled here yet again in their absolute thousands. Conor Loftus yeah. has got to come in very shortly. Yeah, and we know what he can do as a sub against Curry. Met a brilliant ball in Tandy Moran for the goal against Derry. Scored a goal himself and saved Mayo all season. So certainly you would say Mayo, if they knock this over, two-point lead, seven or eight minutes to go, it's a very strong position, Ger. Don't forget, Desi, the amount of time that's normally added on at the end of matches nowadays. Last year, it was seven minutes. Yeah, I don't know the Mayo supporters be able for that kind of injury time. 114 to 113 can now very quickly become a, a two-point advantage. Killian O'Connor has got five so far. Two of those have been from open play. He's now got four from Freeze. Yeah. 115 to 113. On comes Loftus from Cross Molina. And off, going off the team, will be number 15, Andy Moran. Yeah, what a shift he's put in. Incredible standing ovation for Andy Moran. And that just gives you the measure how highly he's, he's seen Three. in Mayo. Three points in the first half, always the leader, always involved, wonderful character, brilliant footballer. Yeah, and that ball he gave Lee Keegan was exceptional, set him up for the goal, and he shows us all of the experience there. Now Dublin, what have you got left? Yeah, I'm just looking at Jim Gavin, he's talking to Jason Sherlock, and I'm sure, like Bernard Brogan, certainly would have made an impact now, you would have to imagine. Keanu O'Sullivan. They've used three of their possible subs. Kieran Kilkenny. Johnny Cooper now. James McCarthy. It's only a two-point game. Dublin won't panic. Looking today for their 27th All-Ireland victory. They are looking for just their fourth. Insight to Paul Mannion. Again, the backs having the responsibility now, trying to keep him at bay. Mannion, elusive, quick, darting forward and squeezing it in from an almost impossible angle. That's Dublin for you, never beaten, back yeah. to a one-point game. Absolutely, when you clear like Paul Mannion, so elusive, quick, taking on his man and they always get the score. A lot of Mayo players are actually looking for a video referee on this occasion. Killian O'Connor was screaming at Joe McCullen. Yeah, I mean, this could be this could be very interesting, Jer, because it's unusual for a referee to go back like this. Well, also the uh, official, the video official, will have had a view of it already and might have had a doubt himself. So, this is important. Is it a one-point game or a two-point game? It's uh, in. It's good. Posha Kadeha. It's allowed. Yeah, and that's the one thing about Dublin. They do not panic. They keep on coming back. Great composure again. Bernard Brogan is in. Yeah, and that's no surprise. You're nearly guaranteed a score or two when this man comes onto the pitch. And the player who went off, by the way, is Paul Flynn. Possession by here. It's won by Dublin. It's back in once again to Mannion. He's got three so far. Into Bernard Brogan. A Fed back as far as James McCarthy. Is it inside the right hand upright? It is. And the teams are level again. Yeah, and you can see what we said. They've had great composure there, but what play by Bernard Brogan? Simply got the ball, knew the option wasn't on, laid a great pass to James McCarthy. It really is a brilliant match. Aidan O'Shea. Physical, tough, but that's what you expect. Cohen gives it back to Lee Keegan. Gold score after 54 minutes. Chris Barrett having to uh, reel backwards here and just begin the next attack for Mayo. Four minutes of the 70 to go. And then it'll be interesting. Just how many more minutes will be tagged on to that. Tom Parsons. Aidan O'Shea. Two men unmarked ahead of him. Stephen Cohen, one of them. Last year's under-21 captain. Beautifully in here to Loftus. Connor Loftus regained his control there. It'll throw the shoulders past Kieran Kilkenny. Down he goes. Referee very near him. No foul committed. The referee decides into the breach. Here comes Durkin trying to lay it off once again towards Loftus. 
Everybody intent on winning it, and finally Dublin do get it back, and it's kicked out by Brian Fenton to the completely unmarked Dermot Connolly. Unmarked for a moment, that was. Slipping it over towards Dean Rock. The, Dol- the Mayo back missed him, and Rock fists it over the bar. It's a six for Dean Rock. You can watch again here. The back came out, missed it completely. Rock had the composure then to slip it over the bar with his fist to put Dublin back into the lead again. Yeah, Connor Loftus had opportunities to lay it off, got caught in possession, but so quickly up the pitch to Jamie Connolly. Chris Barrett narrowly missed it and it found his way to Dean. There was a great opportunity for a goal if he wanted to be a hero. Took the point. In recent years, Dublin have won all Ireland finals against Mayo by a point. Mayo come once more. Cohen inside to Killian O'Connor. Remember the equaliser last year? That is incredible, Ger. That is incredible score at this time of the game. Killian O'Connor. Seven points for O'Connor. So reminiscent, but up at the other end of the field last year to tie it up. He's done it again here. They're level for the 11th time. What about that? 116 to 116. Yeah, no team deserves to lose this. Tit for tat throughout the game. Incredible composure from both sets of players. Now Scully is on, gets his chance, deserves it. Didn't start the match, and the player is going off as the goal scorer, Conor Callaghan. Kieran Kilkenny. Johnny Cooper. So is it to be a late, late winner? Or will there be another day out for both these teams? Mac Bellavan, trying to make sure the business is done here and now. Back out here. Brogan running into challenges, lots of challenges. Higgins fills away, finally flat kicked away out of danger by Paddy Durkin. Brilliantly taken by Kevin McLaughlin. Yeah, and what play by Keith Higgins to bottle up Bernard Brogan for a split second. He had an opportunity. But both set the players, both their body on the lines, you would have to say. We're seeing some magnificent performance. Absolute heroism all over the park. A final is a credit to both squads of players and their management teams, aided and abetted by the wonderful supporters we have at Grove Park this afternoon. An absolutely engrossing contest. It really is truly incredible how both sets of players at this level, at this stage of the game, can make such decisions. The decision has gone Mayo's way. The line ball, the possession, Cooper incensed. Yeah, to me it looked like it was a Dublin ball, so maybe that's a break, Mayo need it. We're inside the last few seconds of the 70, as we see uh, the David Drake is in. on, David Drake. Yeah, powerful runner coming in for Jason Doherty, very fit man. Some possession from the sideline here for Dermot O'Connor, Jason Doherty, the one making his way off. He scored two points in the first half and contributed handsomely. But now it's all about who's going to win. Yeah, it's a free in. A run here, and it is a, it's a free in, Charles. Oh, by Mick Fitzsimons. Yeah, off the ball. Mick Fitzsimons got too close to Killian O'Connor. I just seen it on the corner of my eye. Joe said it there. Huge call by Joe McQuillan to spot that. Pleading his case, Mick Fitzsimons. Just yeah. watch it again here. Just Arm held. Yeah, just very slightly, but if we can remember Killian O'Connor very late in the game last year missed a similar free from a similar position, and this is a big kick. Six minutes of added time, I've just been told. The crowd is now being told. Killian O'Connor at the beginning of those six minutes with the match level at 116 to 116. Yeah, and Michael Fitzsimons very close to him there. Joe McQuillan as well in sight, not looking at it. As good a final as you could hope to wish to see. O'Connor making a better angle for himself. It's on the way, I think. Is it off the post? And comes back down to Brian Fenton. And Dublin can move smartly through the gears with Niall Scully. His first intervention is coming in. James McCarthy now. Dublin trying to bring the ball upfield and get the next score. Back once again here with Dermot Connolly, turning away from Killian O'Connor after that free came off the post, and Dublin have the chance to benefit at the other end. It's Connolly. Mayo get the players back into key positions. Crucial 
four and a half minutes remaining here back out towards Mannion he's got three points already off as far as Scully only one point in this year's championship he scored it against Carlo Keanu Sullivan went down referee wasn't too far away from it didn't see a foul committed Fenton keeps it moving Dublin patient and they're looking for options the best option possible what is it will it be this man Keanu Sullivan Will it be that man, Bernard Broga? With a little block on it by Keith Higgins. Yeah, and he's Keith wrecked. Higgins is on the ground. He can't walk. Somehow, yeah, cramped up. But he somehow managed to catch it and give the pass off to Killian O'Connor and keep it going. Both sets of players, I think, are pretty much out on their feet. Yeah, and the supporters willing on their players. There's another four minutes of it. Aidan O'Shea to Parsons. Will there be a winner today? And which one of them will it be? Chris Barrett. On it goes to Keegan. Cohen now. Worked inside. Barry was trying to get it. Stopped by McManaman. McManaman back there on the half-back line doing the defending. Yeah, here Ryan comes Connolly. Connolly, yeah. Getting away from Drake. Dermot Connolly. It'll take just one composed moment, you would think for one of these teams to land the point that will win the final yeah and a lot of players I'm looking at Kira Kenny struggling from cramp Paul Mannion struggling from cramp well he takes his went down as well play. here's James McCarthy he looks fresh he's got a gap he's 25 minutes out a little bit more back out to Connolly will Connolly be the man be the hero not with this kick it sailed well away yeah, and they're trying to regroup again. Yeah. <laughs> Cormac Costello comes on, the man who broke Mayo Hearts last year with three points when he came on as a substitute, has another, what is it, about two and a half minutes to do the business with Mannion going off. Yeah, and he has fond memories of what happened last year. I'm sure he'd love to get on every ball if he can. You know he's going to get an opportunity to score such options that Jim Galvin has got right now David Clark I think is just slowing it down you can see it he's in no particular hurry so important and uh, there is going to be another change and Jerk Hafferke is going to get a chance to come in I think uh, some of the players just cramping up and just unable to continue we saw Keith Higgins there a moment ago the other card was issued to number 12 yeah big kick out as well for David Clark it's a full court press by Dublin Scully not long on and carded it's kicked long Dublin come to take and James McCarthy brilliantly catches it are Dublin ready to take chance any chance that comes their way and seize the moment they've got this chance Connolly fouled Chris Barrett not deemed to have made the correct tackle and it's a free kick from 40 metres out to perhaps win the All-Ireland yeah, to try to create an opportunity for Aidan O'Shea to go out on top of James McCarthy and it ended up James McCarthy won that kick out and count, creates a counter attack and then we have the players like the Jeremy Connolly were running straight at the heart of defence it's very hard to tackle that man off goes McLaughlin on comes Danny Kerbin really the most important thing right now as you can see we're under a minute of time to go uh, as Jerk Hafferke comes in but really it's all now about Dean Rock who scored six points in the match so far Keith Higgins going off to be replaced. A free kick to win the All-Ireland. Yeah. Jim Gavin showing very few emotions. But I'm sure all kinds of emotions are running through Dean Rock's head. Playing in his 31st championship match. 27 years of age. His dad Barney did it many times in the past. This has to be the kick that goes over the bar if Dublin are to win the All-Ireland. It'll be heartbreak for Mayo. 116 to 116. Six minutes into stoppage time. 40 metres out. Rock kicking up into the air. And over the bar. And Dublin have surely won the All-Ireland. Yeah, what a player to have to kick the free. He's done it time and time before. Like his father, great composure and a great score. Well, the referee is halting play. 
and having some words because uh, all kinds of bodies colliding as you can see there that's Cormac Costello being spoken to and he's got a yellow card he's only on a few seconds Dublin bidding to hang on now it'll be a kick out from Mayo who look to be crestfallen once again there's still a bit of jersey pulling and tugging going on and we're way over the six minutes as you can see a black card for Kieran Kilkenny a black card for Kilkenny yeah and under no circumstances was he letting Lee Keegan get away from that kick out and drag them to the ground off the ball how much more time will the referee add on yeah. he's added a minute he's in t it's, they always say it's at least whatever the yeah. number of minutes I, th I think he should give Mayo an opportunity because there's a lot of time wasted there will he do so Joe McCullough the man in charge Oh, David Clark has kicked it out to the sideline and out over the sideline and it's a Dublin sideline ball and most of the noise now is coming from the Dublin fans in Croke Park yeah and it's just at the wrong time he hit a bad kick out he'd been very disappointed with himself are they calling up oh, oh for a minute they were going to call up Tuxton to kick this but no Bernard Brogan just going to kick it in no need to do such things Dublin hold on challenge there on Brogan very near the sideline Mayo can't win the possession so they give it all the way back here Cormac Costello playing his part Johnny Cooper as well Dublin advancing Dublin leading Dublin holding possession frustrating Mayo who've played their part in a really good final the referee looks at his watch in the middle of the park Dublin belted all the way back to goalkeeper Stephen Cluxton and they hope that the whistle will sound in just a moment referee has another look at the watch there's still a few seconds Dublin just moving it around among themselves Mayo can't win it back however Dublin have the advantage they've got the ball time's running out Cooper they try to pin Keanu Sullivan back there in the corner out comes Cluxton gives it off here to McManaman boots it out to Scully everybody was all over at the 45 meter line and the referee finally does blow the whistle it's all over and Dublin are again the champions the three in a row the first time a team from Dublin has done it Jim Gavin you wouldn't think he had won a match he said beforehand it's just another game but look what it means to the fans and to the players Paddy Andrews in there to celebrate but once again defeat is Mayo's lot Stephen Rotsford and his team gave it absolutely everything luck just wasn't on their side at the very end of all of that but it's Dublin who are the champions it's a record of achievement that must be acknowledged final score Dublin 117 Mayo 116 some match